Hello students, the topic for our day is animals and their young ones. I am Sakshi Mathur, your science teacher. So let's start with the chapter animals and their young ones. The topics which we are going to study in this video are reproduction, animals which give birth to young ones and about egg laying animals. Under the topic egg laying animals, we will be discussing about birds, fishes, amphibians, reptiles and insects. So let's study about reproduction. Reproduction The process by which new living beings resembling their parents are produced is called reproduction. That is, when the new living beings or the new young ones are born, they look alike or resemble their parents. This process is called as reproduction. Now, in nature, you must have seen the reproduction by two methods that is one by laying eggs and second by giving birth to the young ones. In the first picture you can see a dog with his baby that is the puppy. It resembles the parent. The dog gave birth to the young one and in the second picture, you can see that a hen is laying eggs. And from these eggs, the chick or the baby comes out of the hen. So these are the two methods of reproduction. We will be discussing each of them briefly. So let's start. The mode of reproduction. There are two modes of reproduction. First is the birth to young ones, which is called as the mammals. The animals which give birth to young ones are called as the mammals. Examples, cats, cows, human beings and etc. The second mode of reproduction is egg laying animals. The egg-laying animals are called as oviparous animals. Examples, birds, snakes, insects, etc. So these are the two ways by which reproduction process can occur. Animals which give birth to young ones. Like humans, cats and monkeys they give birth to the small babies and then they develop them. Mammals The animals which give birth to the young ones and feed them with their own milk are called as mammals. Example are the human beings, dogs, cats, etc. Features of mammals There are some features of mammals like they are the most developed animals. Their body is covered with hair. They have well developed brains and ears. Babies are formed inside the mother's body. They take care of the young ones by feeding them, cleaning them and protecting them from the enemies. So these are the few characteristics of the mammals. Examples, human beings, cats, dogs, monkeys, etc. 
Whales and dolphins are the water mammals. Whales and dolphins give birth to the young ones and they are the water mammals. Now we have one more exception that is the egg laying mammals. Example spiny ant eater and duck biled platypus. Egg laying animals. The animals which reproduce by the method of laying eggs. Examples fish, insects, birds. All these animals lay eggs and then reproduce. Features of egg laying animals. Animals reproduce by laying eggs. They lay their eggs in a warm place or sit on them to keep them warm. This is called as the incubation. The young ones hatch out of the egg. Hatching out means that the young one comes out of the egg by breaking the eggshell. Examples, birds, fishes, amphibians, reptiles, insects. Structure of an egg. Students, you all have seen the egg. It is covered with a white shell which is very hard and called as the egg shell. Now we will discuss the internal structure of the egg. Inside the egg shell we have a second layer which is called as the shell membrane. Inside the shell membrane we have a white liquid called as the albumin. Inside the albumin, we have a yellow colored liquid called as the yolk. And in the yolk, the developing baby, that is the embryo, is present. So these are the basic structure of the egg. The yolk is connected with the help of chalaza. So, the parts of the egg are eggshell, chalaza, shell membrane, embryo, yolk and albumin. Let us now discuss about each and every part of the egg. Eggshell. It is the hard shell which covers the egg from outside and protects the embryo. Albumin. White jelly-like substance which is rich in proteins. Yolk. Present inside the albumin. Round yellow in shape and rich in fats, vitamins and minerals. Embryo It is the developing baby which is present inside the yolk. So these are the parts of an egg and the role of the parts of the egg. Birds Birds reproduce by laying egg. They build nest for their eggs. So the birds lay their eggs in the nest. Now we are going to study when a bird lay egg inside the nest, how the baby develops. This is the life cycle of a hen. The hen lay eggs and then sits on it to keep them warm. This process is called as incubation. After the period 
of 21 days, the baby hatch out of the egg or comes out of the egg. This process is called as hatching. After the baby comes out of the egg, it looks like a chick. Then the chick develops into an adult hen. So this is the life cycle of a hen. We came across two new terms that is the incubation and hatching. Incubation, the process in which birds sit on their eggs to keep them warm is called as incubation. Hatching, the process in which baby birds break open the eggshell to come out. Fishes. Now fishes also reproduce by laying eggs. Fish lay thousands of eggs at one time in water. The cluster of eggs is called as spawn. These eggs do not have egg shells. Now we will study the life cycle of a fish. The life cycle of fish is the fish lay eggs, then they develop into a larvae, then larvae convert into fry, and then the fries convert into the adult fish. So this is the life cycle of a fish. Thank you and have a nice day.